in the <laughs> next uh, five years, we're freezing discretionary spending, which means $400 billion of savings. And that means real cuts. And what we're doing in this budget is making cuts, but we're also, by living within our means, able to invest in the future so we can create jobs and have a strong economy in the future. As of today, as of today the lines will be drawn in Washington. White House Budget Director Jack Lew right there on earlier today at Fox & Friends. Arguing the new budget's uh, president's budget proposal will significantly cut spending. Republicans say we're broke and the cuts the White House wants to make are not nearly enough. Uh, one of them is Republican Senator Jeff Sessions out of Alabama, ranking member on the Senate Budget Committee. Senator, good morning to you and welcome good back to morning, America. Bill. You heard Jack Lew, what he said. You believe what about this budget proposal? I believe what uh, Erskine Bowles, uh, who President Obama named to be co-chairman of his deficit commission said yesterday, which is that this budget is nowhere close to avoiding the fiscal nightmare this country is facing. That's what he said about it. I don't think that's at all inaccurate. It, we are not living within our means. The president has not told us the truth. He is not leading. Uh, for Mr. Lou to suggest that somehow we're going to be living within our means in this 10-year budget that he's presenting uh, is totally wrong. Now, what, uh, the what, what lowest do you mean? annual debt yeah. increase we'll have is $600 billion over the 10 period. How is that living within your means? Yeah, Senator, what do you mean the president has not told us the truth, to borrow your words? Well, for example, in his Saturday radio address, he said, we're going to do like a ha family does. We're going to have a budget that, that, and a policy that uh, allows us to live within our means. Mr. Lou said Sunday on the television program that we'll be paying down our debt. Uh, these kind of things are, are through the looking glass. We're not ever, we have no plan in this budget to pay down debt or ever come close to bouncing it. A $1 trillion reduction in our deficit over 10 years is the equivalent is, in fact, if it were to happen, then it won't onto their budget. But if it did, we would redu be reducing from $14 trillion, $13 trillion to 12 or 13. It's just a $1 trillion reduction out of a $14 trillion addition to our debt in this budget they sent forward. Now, you say the uh, president's, been, it's not, uh, his president's been timid on this issue? Uh, he has I not really offered the leadership that's necessary? Yes. I mean, he had the State of the Union message. He should have told us uh, some of the things that are happening. Alan Greenspan said that we could have a debt crisis in two to three years. The Moody's bond rating said in December they could downgrade our bond rating uh, in less than two years. The International Monetary Fund says our reductions have to be second only to Japan. We're, we need to cut spending more than Greece, according to the International you think the, Monetary Fund. It, yeah, have Republicans countered with the, the kind of proposal and, and, and tough love that's necessary? Well, yes, uh, a lot of good proposals Where? have been raised. But let me ask you, first and foremost, this is the President of the United States, who I believe should have told the American people in the State of the Union why we are in a crisis why we have to reduce spending, not because we want to, but our very economy is threatened. Uh, we could face another serious uh, recessionary event, debt crisis that would damage all of us. Yeah. Many argue that the American people are ready for the tough love and are willing to take it. Just tell them what they need to do. Um, there, there, there is, well, there are a few things that we're going to learn today about more uh, money and education. And many would argue that you have to deal with the infrastructure, the systems that's in place first in order to get our kids better educated. Uh, there's a proposal to cut back on the tax benefit for those who give money to, to charity. Um, are, are these good ideas? Well, we're going to have to wrestle with a lot of tough choices. There's no doubt about that. But uh, the president does not reduce spending in any year in this 10-year budget. He does not ever reduce spending. So we're not planning to savage the budget. He also has $1.6 trillion in tax increases. Uh, so uh, what do we have to do? Do we have to reduce some of these programs? Yes. Do we have to look at every prob program, particularly education, and see if we can't be more effective in a, 
in helping a learning occur in the classroom yeah. rather than just adding money to it. Uh, uh, those are the challenges that we as a nation could, could bring out of this whole crisis and come out stronger, better, more efficient, more prosperous. We all know the challenges are huge. And today the debate begins in earnest. Senator, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. The senator from Alabama. With